Hey guys, if you're wondering, I I am attempting to grow a beard. I have to say attempting because uh, I haven't shaved in a couple weeks and uh, I don't have a beard yet. And yes, I was planning to do a video yesterday, but Instead, I spent the afternoon with Jennifer Aniston, Paul Rudd, Justin Thoreau, and David Wayne. I thought that might get your attention. I was lucky enough to go to the set of the movie Wonderlust yesterday, and I wasn't allowed to take any pictures or videos, but I will share my story with you. Well, when I got to the set, I kind of had to walk around a little bit to find out, you know, where they were doing the filming for the day. As I'm going down this little dirt road type thing, I find the cast and crew down there. I'm standing there looking around, and all of a sudden, there's Jennifer Aniston. At that point, I'm standing about 40 feet from Jennifer, and then I realized Paul Rudd was about 20 feet from me under a tent with David Wayne. After they finished that scene, Jennifer Aniston had to walk up the dirt road I was standing on to go and get some refreshments. She walked right past me. I'm talking, you know, she was a couple feet from me. A few minutes later, of course, she had to come back down the dirt road, and she literally almost brushed up against my arm as she passed by. I was able to get a lot closer for the next couple scenes. And at one point I find myself standing about 10 feet from Jennifer Aniston, Paul Rudd, and Justin Thoreau doing a pretty funny scene. And David Wayne is over to my right standing behind the camera operator. Well, David gets up, goes over there to talk with the actors, and when he turns around to come back, he's facing me and he says, How you doing? And I was like... I'm good. I still can't believe I was that close to these actors and to the set of this movie. And now I'm really anxious to see it when it comes out. I'm going to have to buy the DVD, though, so I can check to see if I happen to be in the behind-the-scenes footage. That'd be cool. But let's see what's in the news. Handless model goes topless. I know, I saw model and topless, and I just clicked on it. I, I have to review all the news. And then this picture popped up. The title's clearly misleading, just to draw attention. Who does that? Well, here's a better title I came up with. Woman with one hand photographed in bra. Or, Shirtless Woman Goes Handless. Either one of those seems more appropriate than the title they gave it. Anyway, the article goes on to say something about being aware of... Handicap... something. If you're still interested after finding out she wasn't topless, just click in the link down there. Moving on. Happy 25th birthday, classic 8-bit Nintendo NES. So when I read this headline, I was planning on getting all nostalgic and telling you that I remember when the Nintendo Entertainment System came out, but since it came out the year before I was born, I guess I won't tell you that story. But I do remember getting one at a very young age and spending hours and hours blowing dust out of the cartridges and banging on the top of it trying to get it to work. Ah, the good old days. But now I've got a PlayStation 3 and it mostly gets used to rerun episodes of Friends on DVD and also collect dust. Times. They are a-changing. Well, that's all I've got for you today. As always, the links are going to be in the description down below. I'm Joe Somebody, and now you know because you heard it from somebody. That's a pretty reliable source if you ask me. Mm -hmm.